Alright, alright, we're gonna buy ourselves a burger to start off this episode. Welcome back, everybody! Give me a burger. Oh, I'm not hungry. Uh, I'll just grab it with me. Welcome back, everybody, to another fan server episode. That's right! I was so overwhelmed with your positive feedback on the last episode, and thank you so much for your likes. Um, let's see if we can reach 50 on this episode here again. That means so much, and thank you for all of your, uh, do you say concerns or condolence? No, that's not the right word. Thank you for caring about my flu situation. That means a lot, guys. It's better. Yeah, it's better. I had a little bit of a fever uh, last night, but now it's better. It's better. And check this praise out. I've been working with our blacksmith area, trying to make it... Well, I don't know. I don't know what I've been trying. I'm not super happy with the roof situation. But I brought a little bit of stuff here. I was thinking we could see if we get magics happening. If we would start to place down a little bit of debris. Is that good? Do you want this one like that? I think so. Uh-huh. Um, do we... I did bring some iron. We obviously want a... Anvil, and also, let's do one of these, a cauldron. Um, let's put you... These are kind of in the center. Mm. Uh, there. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Now, let's go grab a little bit of water. We're gonna work on a... I have a little idea for, for spawn here today, and then later, if there's time... I want to go back to the man cave and I want to work on that new area. The thing is, I really... Th there's a lot of, of, of episodes from the fan server now. And that is just how it is. Uh, you guys are enjoying the series. I'm not skipping any, any survival stories or anything. So I hope uh, uh, that, that it's okay by you or with you. I'm really enjoying myself here. There we go. That's looking pretty good. So you kind of take your stuff here and then you do your thing. You do your thing? Uh-huh. We need a little bit more of debris and stuff here, but uh, definitely, definitely a step in the right direction. Oh, we need some microblocks there, don't we? Anyway, anyway, I'll, I'll work some more off a of camera on that. Okay, here's what I want to do. Now, I am very interested in doing shops and stuff, um, and I know it's good for the community... So let's just see. We have the tavern, the pub over there. We have the town hall and the burger place. And then the town goes up that way. With all the pretty buildings that we looked at at the end of the, uh, of the last episode. Uh-huh. Look at this tree, by the way. It's so crazy. I love it, though. Yeah, we have that there. So I'm thinking we should uh, make... We should make a road, or we should make a connection, rather, between here and the tavern up here. Because look at this place. I don't think I've shown you this, but it's beautiful. It is a combination build from Crazy About Math, Craig, and uh, Alex. I think Alex was responsible for the leaves and the trees and, and the decoration. And Crazy About Math did the whole standard or, or skeleton of the building and the design of the building. I think it looks super good. But we need to connect this up to the rest of the town. And we can do that by putting our next building right over... Let's see. There is a there is a shop coming up here. Future School La Botania Flower Shop. Oh, I can't wait to see that. Scott, get it going. Uh, <laughs> I need flowers. Alright, I think we're going to build it right here. And what, what do I want to build? Well, I want to build a Lucky Block Shop. You know, I've been exploring. I'm not flying still. I may actually do a jetpack. I won't do wings, but maybe maybe I'll do a jetpack. Let me know what you think about that, if, if it ruins the whole no flying idea. Uh, actually, let's put the building down here instead. Yeah. Let's get rid of this tree. Feels a little bit out of place. Let's just have a look, because I know the road kind of comes here as well. Yes, the road comes here. There's a bridge there. Hmm... It's a pretty large build that I want to do. But I think I'll place it here, down by the beautiful river that Alex have been working on. Um, so, a lucky block shop is what I want to build. And I want to go a little bit of pixel art with this. 
So I want a shop that looks like a lucky block, but still fit the theme of medieval. How is that gonna be possible? I'm not sure at the moment, but I got a pretty good idea. Now let's count this. I believe every block in Minecraft is 16 pixels by 16 pixels. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, <laughs> yes, 16. Okay, so I've been doing a little bit of blocks here. We have got the salts from stones, uh-huh, and then the agon blocks for the black, and then we have the agon block for the white. Actually, let's not let's not try to build this together. Uh, I'll mark it out. I just want to show you how the colors goes together. So let's do a little piece over here. Uh huh. So we'll do we'll do pixel graphics, right? Because we haven't done that in ages or ever. I think. <laughs> uh, I think it's so pretty though, but I never do it. Yeah, something like that. And this would be like the dot of the question mark. You see down here, with the shadow coming down like so. Actually, you know what? This ain't fair. My, my dog is, is talking. She, she wanna go out on a walk. <laughs> I'll be with you in a second, dog. Need to, need to do this first. Okay, um, so something along the line of this would be more correct. Yes, look at that. Oops. So that's the kind of style I want to be uh, want to be doing. And then I have an idea in my head that may be very bad. I'm not sure, but to make it work with a medieval theme, I want to kind of wrap it randomly in this cobblestone thing here. So like this whole lucky block thing is only peeking out at places, but you should still be able to make out what it is. You see what I mean? And then inside obviously there will only be this lucky block thing. I think it would look pretty cool, but I do some building on this, and we I come back to you, I, I walk my dogs as well, and then I come back to you, and we'll see about the technical aspect of this build. Alright, so this is gonna be a pretty large freaking building. <coughs> um, if my math is correct, we're gonna need 1024 plus 256 plus the floor. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of these yellow blocks. Um, <laughs> But I was thinking we'd do a little bit on camera, uh, because I know some of you appreciate it. So I'm going to try my best to do a little bit of pixel art for you all. Do you guys... I know it's a very popular thing. Here, let's do this, then that. I know it's a very popular thing in Minecraft to do pixel art buildings. Is that something that you guys do often in your builds? I want to know. I really want to know. Um, I had a friend that I played with. Wait, how does this go? Okay. I had a friend that I played with on a server a long time ago who was so skilled in, in making pixel art. Sigmex was his name. Um, I don't think he plays Minecraft anymore, but he was so skilled in it. And, and any time I would try, you know, it would just be, nope, <laughs> that's not good. Um, and I haven't done pixel art since, so it's kind of interesting to see how this goes. It should be really easy when you when you do it uh, from a block like I'm doing it, but we'll see. All right, so we have that, and then the next one, like as all. Oh, this is gonna look great. Yeah, I think this is gonna look really good. Um, is that too wide? It's too wide. It looks a little bit weird. This is the issue when you don't have wings, is to build. Um, and I realized I, I was talking earlier about... I can't do two things at the same time. Who do you think I am? <laughs> uh, okay, so this needs to go one more. And this needs to go one more. And then this goes up. Uh-huh. Yeah, I really uh, realized earlier that I was talking about using a jetpack. That is a thought that I'm having. Um... But, I don't know, I, I want to know if, if, if it's kind of breaking what you think uh, about me not flying. I don't know if you even like me not flying. I think it's an interesting take on this series, as opposed to survival stories. Okay, so we have one, two, three, hmm. Is this one more? I can't tell. I really can't tell. Let's go with it. <laughs> let's go with it and see what happens. Okay, so that is... Here, let's count that. One, two, three, four in total. One, two, three, four. Right. 
and then we go down on this here, and then we go like a so, is that correct? Or is it more than just two? For some weird reason, it, it, it looks, hmm, I don't know. Let's see what happens when we do that. Oh yeah, those are touching, okay. It's getting night time as well. Dang it. Um, but I think that is correct, and then we just go... <laughs> Love these scaffolding things, by the way. There, from Industrial Craft. That's the only thing I use from Industrial Craft these days. Okay, let's go over here. Because you can break, in case you didn't know, you can break them from the buttocks. Oh, I can't put another one there, though. Mm -hmm. You can break them from the buttocks, from the bottom, and they will... <coughs> yep. <laughs> and they will do that. So very, very convenient. Let's put a night vision. Uh-huh. Get rid of you. You. And I need to go up and grab these. So much for the scaffolding, eh? There we go. Let's get rid of you. And let's have a look. Oh, that's good. But is it aligned? Mm, I feel... Oh, where's my lucky block? Hey, come here, you. Yeah, I was saying that earlier as well, and then I didn't finish my sentence. But I've been exploring a lot, finding these lucky blocks without... Um, without jetpack, jetpacking. And I know that a lot of our players want to open these, and I could sell them. You see, here's what's wrong. Here is what's wrong. That's a two. Okay, so it needs to be two yellow there, so I did this one too short. Although, how is it that that thing there... Oh, it's, it's supposed to touch that. Okay, I'll fix it. Alright, that's so much better. What a derp. I said five. Five... Uh, stone tiles up there, but I had only put four. Something's wrong with my math, as always. But that looks pretty good, I like that. It looks like the lucky block. I may want to change the white. The white. This thing here ain't doing it, it got a border. May change that, but I'll, I'll see. I'll see what I do, we have a lot of white blocks. The next thing I want to do with you, and then I then I go build this off camera and finish, finish the interior because now it's just a facade. <laughs> but the next thing I want to try, oh shoot. <laughs> Didn't I bring no cobblestone? Oh, I got some here. This ain't mine. This is from Scott Square building my tower. But um, since it's my tower, it's kind of my stuff, I'm I'm assuming. Here, where's my chisel? There. Alright. I want to try to do my cover ID here. And it may not be... It may not be as easy as I thought originally, because this building is so huge. Uh, but what would be cool is to have it kind of... Covered like as all. Hmm. Question is how much of this stuff we do. But like, you know, it's it's more of a stone building than a lucky block. And then of course inside there would be a lucky block. But I wanted to a hint about it actually being a lucky block. So I don't know how we pull that off. So I came up with this absolutely brilliant and beautiful design. Isn't that pretty? For how to kind of match it with spawn. And then I go to sleep because of the flu. I'm very tired and all of that. And I was thinking I'd finish it today. Um, log back to the server this morning. And find this. Now, <clears throat> let's have a closer look at this roof. I didn't do this, okay? I did not do this. What's interesting with it is this bend here. It is, <clears throat> it is clearly one of the ugliest roofs that I've ever seen. And I have a little bit of an idea, or I had a little bit of an idea of uh, why and uh, how this came about. Thing is, I'll give you a little bit of a story. Last night, when I was recording this with you all, before I made the cut a zine, I had a little bit of chat, of a chat, with the guys on the server, on TeamSpeak. Um, because I wanted to hear if they could live with this whole lucky block thing. Because I think, personally, that it looked it looked beautiful before the stupid roof came. And then, um, there was some concerns that it wasn't, you know, it wasn't fitting in. Because it didn't have one of them Dizzy Aaron roofs. Mm-hmm. This guy's brilliant at building roofs, though. So this is clearly not a Dizzy Aaron roof, because it's absolutely terrible. Look at this side. It's... <coughs> Why is it like that? What did you think, guys? Oh my goodness. 
Look at that! It's so off. I don't think he did it on purpose either. I really don't. Um, so I found some signs in front of the building. It says, Now you have a roof that fits born. I will clean up. Smiley. Plenty of kills. Well, he's not online, is he? I need to finish this build. So, um, I got him back a little bit. Check this out. I hired a person who could build proper roofs. Oh, I forget I forget to plug my headphones in. Really? Damn it. <laughs> anyway, I hired a guy that could build real roof. Roof the work. Um, so uh, have a have a look at this. Do you have all the materials, Dizzy? Uh yeah, pretty much. I got all the necessary items for a, a dizzy Aaron house, I guess you could say. Spruce and cobble. Right. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's all we ever need. The the most important thing with this house, with this horse, is that we do the, the whole dizzy air and uh, roof. All right. Well, I think we can get the roof in here. It seems like, um, what, what is that, like 20 blocks high? If needed, we can always punish the roof a little bit. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm <laughs> not going to be held liable. All I know is that you hired me to oh, yeah, yeah. build the house no, no, in I'm... here and... Uh, this is your property, right? Uh, right? Absolutely. I'm hiring Dizzy Aaron's building company. You don't have to know anything else. It's a little bit of nuisance to make carpenter blocks, I think. The whole stick situation. And you get five for eight. And it's weird. All right. Here comes it, the door. It ends up breaking out pretty good, though. Because you end up with a lot nicer, prettier doors and everything else that comes with carpenters. Very true. I mean, it's absolutely worth it. Yes. Um, so do you, what, what would we, could I, could I help you out with the wall here? Is that going to uh, be here, I can give you some, some, uh, cobble and then if you just want to line the whole first layer, uh, all the way around, uh -huh. just do that all cobble. I got cobble. You mean like this? Uh, just the first row. Just the first oh, row yeah, all the way yeah, around. Yeah, of course. Because the, the two other rows, they're going to be alternating between spruce and dark oak. Okay. All right. And we, we want to get fancy. If, you, if you're, if you we're trying to build an original dizzy house, it has of to course. be fancy. Yep. So did you say <clears throat> stairs upside down? Yeah. Uh, not upside down. Just regular. Uh-huh. I mean, we can try upside down, see how that looks. I just put them regular just so it looks like little shingles. Right. I don't even know what shingles is, but... Uh, it's just a decoration that people have on the outside of their houses. Okay. In Sweden, you guys don't have shingles? Maybe. We have red houses. Uh, red houses. I don't know what a red house would be made out of. Oh, it right, would have so been fun if we changed the biome in here as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> that would be mean, but it would be fun. But how's that going to be mean? I thought you were, this is your land and your base. <clears throat> I, uh, yes, that would be uh, something that I don't want to do, though, the, the grass thing. Okay, because um, you're kind of concerning me with this whole that would be mean and that would be not good. Are you sure this is your base now? This is my place. There are many yeah, places. Does. There are many places like this, but this one here is mine. Yeah, because it kind of resembles um, the the base you had in the deep dark in uh -huh. your single player series. Kind of looks like that. Exactly. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so, so are you trying to recreate it? Is that trying what you're going to, to look at? Trying to recreate it. Trying to go crazy with it. You know me. I love my caution blocks and my tyrium blocks. And as you can see clearly, there's a lot of those blocks over here. Uh huh. Yeah, you look at the it, walls. It looks, it, I think maybe the comments about have, making it a little bit like a the dizzy builds. Is that what you're going for? The dizzy build. The dizzy build, yeah. Okay, so now, now it's starting to make sense over here. I'm starting to wonder how this house was going to tie in with the rest of your build, but now it, it's starting to make sense. It's kind of like you know why not mix and match, right? You know what I really what I just realized and what I really like is. The stair things, what did you call it on the wall? Uh, which ones? Like here. The, oh, the, the shingles? The shingles. The shingles shenanigan. Is that a thing you can say as well? To, does that go together with shingles? 
Yeah, shingles goes good with everything. Um, okay. Have you ever had pancakes? Pa- shingles goes good with pancakes. Mm-hmm. Um, juice goes good with juice. Shingles juice. Yeah, shingles uh, juice. Okay, the the shingles anyway. I like how the light <clears throat> is shining through like that and gives you kind of a. Do you see that? What I mean? Uh, that's not actually the shingles. If you while you weren't looking, I installed LEDs. <laughs> LED oh, behind it. Oh, that's what's lit up. And it's automated, so when the light level goes a little low, I have some redstone that's built into these spruce logs, mm-hmm. and it automatically kicks in, so all of the LEDs turn on, and it gives oh. you this nice glowing effect. I'm loving that. It's like a contemporary rustic feel, you know? So that uh-huh. way you get that modern look of a log house, but you still get that medieval Nordic feel as well. It also saves on electricity, so that's a good thing to keep in mind. Yeah. Well, I'm very happy with this. I'm happy I hired Dizzy Aaron's building company. Pretty good, eh? Dizzy Aaron, he knows. He knows, and you know what to hire. What he didn't know was that that ain't my base. <laughs> that's Alex's base. <laughs> I fooled him, Drew. All right. I got this ugly piece of thing. Ouch. That was bad. I got this ugly piece of thing cleaned up. So now we're going to have a true look at what was beautiful once uh, when I went to bed. Sometimes, this is interesting, sometimes when you build something in Minecraft and then you come back the next day, you have a look at it and it not it, it's not beautiful anymore. Do you ever get that feeling? You probably do. Oh, but this thing is still beautiful. Um, I'm not sure. I try to use a little bit of barriers here. Barrier action. Um, kind of peeled, peeled off the logs like as all. Not sure if I love that. Let me know what you think. And by the way, I should apologize for a little bit of background noise in the last segments. Um, <laughs> when I recorded that with this here, and I had just woken up after a long night of coughing. And I was super tired as well. So that, that shined through a little bit. I did play it back. Um, but you you guys, you guys are the bestest. You will understand. Aha, uh-huh, but this thing looks very good. It looks a uh, very good. Uh, I like it. Uh, I do think, however, that the whole technical aspect of it will have to wait to another episode. Uh, I want to update the server with custom NPCs and stuff before we do anything inside. But man, this... Torch ain't supposed to be there. This place from the inside is looking great. It's looking gorgeous. It's looking so good. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. With the whole lucky block um, kind of hidden up. Now, be on my side, please, down in the comments. Be on my side. This works in spawn, right? It fits the style. I think it really fits the style. It's a little bit funny building, but that's, you know, half of the point as well. We're gonna be selling lucky blocks. Alright, but that's gonna have to do it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We'll come back next episode and I think we'll work on some mod stuff rather than building or spawn. I want to get into Botany, I'm not sure about you. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit the like button, see if we can reach the old 50. That would be much appreciated. And then I speak with you in the comments. Alright, I see you in the next episode.